I should try to play a wide range of music on this show because I love most or all kinds of music, but also because I want the wide selection to represent the idea of exploring all art forms, all art waves, styles and genres, just venturing out and explore the unexplored, if you will. Uh, surely one of the ways that we can do that is via the many initiatives art organizations around the world are launching these days online in response to the pandemic. And one of the really big ones I've come across is We Are One, a global film festival. That's what it's called. And it's just an initiative where major film festivals around the world, including Cannes, which I think is supposed to be taking place, was supposed to be taking place in these days as the show is being recorded. You know, other festivals like Venice, Toronto, Berlin, etc. All of these big festivals will be streaming films off their selection for free on YouTube. Uh, I think, yeah, from May 21 to June 7. I said that American style, but this is an international show. Well, it sounds exciting. It sounds like a very exciting initiative, but you have to wonder whether this idea will work. Film festival programs tend to be more highbrow than popular entertainment. And that's all well and good when watching films by such artists as Tsai Ming Liang, Jean-Luc Godard, or even Nani Moretti is treated like a cinematic experience where people travel to a theater and experience the movie like an event. Uh, of course, this type of experience is far easier in big urban settings, and even then cinemas were in decline. Not to mention art house cinemas, which sometimes promote themselves as such, but they are just really lazy. Like, yeah, I don't want to name names, but I could. But my point is, I look forward to seeing whether the fact that these films will be streaming online for free will actually encourage people to watch them. I can think of two problems with that. The first being that someone once said to me that people generally do not go for the freebies, uh, when it comes to content, because they automatically regard the content itself of an inferior quality, no matter what one standard of quality is based upon. And I feel that there is some truth to that. That's what I feel. And the second thing is that film festival selections may be enriching uh, culturally and so on. And definitely there are people who absolutely enjoy them, but they're no match for whatever Netflix or Disney Plus are offering at the moment on the internet. What I'm saying is, the internet still isn't the best way to be cultural because, well, it's just so distracting, and the distractions are so damn irresistible. You know, I myself am binging on An Idiot Abroad. N not that I don't think that show isn't absolute genius, but I'm sure that many on the film festival committees would not agree with me on this one. And actually, that's a problem, because we all know that film festival selection committees I'm talking about, they tend to be very snobbish, and this is turning people away from film festivals, funnily enough, you know. So we'll have to wait and see whether this experiment will work. I know that I'll be watching quite a few films that will be on offer as part of the festival, but... That's just me, because this is what I do, this is what I'm into. E but, but even I don't think I will actually binge watch uh, on whatever will be offered via this platform. But I am curious to see how the film industry and audiences at large will react to this. And I also wonder whether this too will represent the new normal. <laughs> <laughs> 